the arithmetic operators in C. In this we have two types, we have a binary operator and a unary operator. Now we will look at each of these in detail. A binary operator is one which performs numerical calculations between two constant values. So the word binary indicates a minimum of two operands are required. And these operands need to have constant values during the time of their operation. So what are the binary operators that are available in this software language? Now this is a overview. We have addition indicated by the plus sign, subtraction, multiplication, division and modular division. An example has been given for each of these operations. Modular division is something in which you do not get the quotient as a result but the remainder of the division as a result. Now that is the difference between division and modulo division. Division is one in which you get the quotient of the division as a result. When you want to see the remainder you go in for this modular division. So binary operators are ones which require a minimum of two operands for their operation. Next we have what is called the unary operators. Unary operators require only one operand for their operation. They cannot be used for an operation on two values at a time. So in unary operators there are many classifications. You have increment operators, decrement operators, the simple minus sign, address operator and size of. So the address operator is represented by the ampersand symbol. It holds the address of the variable in memory. So if you want to see at which memory location a particular value is stored, you give the ambison symbol and the variable name, it will print you the result of that memory location. The size of operator is to tell us what is the size the data type holds. For example, we saw while looking at integers and data types about the memory allocation for a data type. Some it is 2 bytes, some it is 4 bytes. So the actual size that is held by a variable can be obtained when we use this size of operator. An example has been given here size of x. So the memory allocated to that x variable can be seen by the user. So this is an example for the minus unary operator. When we want to assign some sign to a data value we use this minus operator. Here is an example integer x which represents that x is a variable. It is of integer type and it is a signed integer because we are assigning a minus value to that 50. And we can convert that minus 50 to plus 50 by again using the minus operator when we are assigning it to another integer variable y and we give minus x. So minus of minus 50 makes it plus 50 and it assigns the value plus 50 to y and minus 50 to x. Now this is how we use the unary operator minus just to give a sign to a data value. 